So I just finished playing a set with Danny Altavia and it was pretty hype. It does go to three games. I'll let, I won't spoil the ending for you by any means, but you're going to see this real big back and forth. And we talked about this in the last Buzzwell like and rock matchup where you want to try to limit your bench if you're the Gardevoir player because you don't want them to GX your Gardevoir. Now there were some unfortunate starts for Danny in a couple of the games, but he is able to come back from them and pose quite a threat to our board position. Now guys, this is the last round of Swiss. You'll see if I make top cut or not, whether or not I win, uh, but it was an absolute joy to play this tournament. I think it was one of the most fun experiences that I've had playing Pokemon, at least this year. And that is saying something with, you know, me winning a regionals and things like that. So it is quite a joy to play this stuff. I am I'm so excited to showcase this matchup once again. Remember, follow me on twitch.tv slash Righteous for more info and more gameplay and more knowledge. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is when I stream. As well as this, guys, if you are not following this YouTube channel, please make sure to drop a like, a subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. I'm putting out a video every single day, every day. So this is the Gardevoir versus Buzzwell Lycanroc matchup. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We are here with round number six against Danny Altavia. And we're... Feeling fine, you know? I, I don't know quite what Danny is playing. He has been watching my YouTube series, so he has a very intimate knowledge of what I'm playing. And so it's going to be interesting to see kind of what happens. Looking like potentially, I see the Remoraid, so maybe a fight deck, fighting deck. We open all three Bridget, which is um a little bit insane. Let's go... We have to just pass, I believe. It's pass, pass, and then we get to go into our deck. Obviously, can't evolve on our next turn. But what I'll be looking to do is bridgeting. No, we get end. Okay, so end plus parallel city might be really rough for us. But we'll see what he gets. He could just donk us on the first turn. He would need Regirock and a float stone and an energy. And he could just go in. There is the... Boy, nope, we do not see an attack. All right, very good. So let's just take a let's just take a glance through the deck here with the Bridget. Uh, what Danny is gonna want to do is he's gonna want to gust up a Zerua for a KO. So we want to make sure that we have we got the Mew in the deck. That's really gonna help us. We want to see if we can get. A float stone. We do a float stone. Unfortunately, for this hand, uh, we're just going to have to rip it off of that. I almost want to go. I almost want to go three Zerua. Because I don't really care if the active gets knocked out. I hate to say it. I don't really care about that. We just want to have our Zorg so we can try to get into Mew. So we're going to go three Zerua. And then. We will field blower, I suppose. I don't want him to get more set up, and we play two field blowers, so let's just get rid of that stadium. And then we will attach to a Zerua. Now, the problem with attaching to Zerua is that I, I think we actually attach to Ralt. We'll do 10 damage, and the reason is because he's going to want to target down our Zeruas. If he targets down our Ralts and knocks it out, I mean, he would need a few more pieces. He would need to, he needs a two card combo to do that. So I think he's gonna try to Guzma up the Zerua and take it out. And if he does that, then we can retreat off of the Ralts. No, it looks like he's just gonna go. Yeah, okay, okay, great. This is exactly, so if we had attached to a Zerua, then we would have got punished there. But we do see the Jet Punch and we're gonna try to body him with a Mew. We're gonna really try to body him with a Mew. See if we can't do that here. If we can get Mew going, like almost assuredly we win. It's not a guarantee by any means. And with this hand, I kind of, with this hand, I kind of want to go for a research. I don't really want to end him. Let's go Lele. 
or oh, well, I say research, but Sycamore. Let's go Sycamore. I think we play this down. We're just going to go through life with two Zerua, and that's just going to be how it is. So we'll play the Ralts down, and then we'll Sycamore. We're looking for Ultra Ball, DCE. No way. No way. We're one card off, bro. Oh, crud. Okay, well, so we have to hit into Ultra Ball here off of this trade. Oh, that is big sad. Big sad. We have to get into Mew or Ultra Ball off this trade to have a chance. So we'll trade away. Oh, man, like the DCEs are really good. Um, we'll trade away a, a fairy, I suppose. Yo, we get into the Mew, though. Insane. That's actually just legendary top deck there. So we'll retreat, get into Mew, and Riot is speeding. Wow. That's that's really big, because he had two energy on that. So he was going to one-shot pretty much anything on our side of the field. Um, you know, Lele, if we brought that up, he could have GX'd for the one-shot. Uh, now he's in a bit of an awkward position because he doesn't have anything on the bench. Nothing is going to be able to KO this Mew. So we're going to be able to potentially get into like a Guzma or something. Just get more resources down to take, you know, take the KOs that we need to. It's going to go for another Remoraid. Maybe thinking that that's his only shot. We get a couple of puzzles here as well. That's very strong for us. Um, at this point, I would just like to get into Rare Candy if we can. We do have rare candy in the discard, so I'm going to go ahead and trade away the Ultra Ball. And we will play a couple of puzzle at times. To, we just get the rare candy kind of naturally. Um, he could take a double KO on the Ralts. So let's go... Well, do I care, though? Do I care if he knocks out this Ralts? I guess it puts him at, puts him at that amount of prizes. So let's go there. And then is there a way for him to one-shot things? I don't think so. So what we might just be good to do is to load up a Mew. Uh, I want to be I want to be careful though. I want to be careful about doing that. Let's go field blower again. Let's go double colorless needs to go down, I think. But could it go on the Mew? I feel like I feel like we're good to just put it on Guardy. And then we could double puzzle for like a supporter. We could double puzzle for research and an energy. Okay. Double puzzle. We could also get out Gallade as well. But I think we're going to go research and energy and then we'll secret spring onto here let's get that loaded up and then we'll research looking for another zorark to be honest we do find one let's go ahead and trade just doing every single action that we can and yeah we're good we'll go ahead and ride a speeding cool we get another fairy energy, so that means we can also go in with the Mew. We're looking for a Guzma, because that's the one thing that he can do to try to like set up here, is get a Guzma. Uh, oh, it looks like, okay. Looks like he is saying he will go first. Scooping up that first game. All right, well. His deck kind of bricked. We'll hope that our deck doesn't brick here. Ended up having to end there, uh, which was tough. And I do not want to go first. Okay. So again, remember, pass, pass. Don't open a basic, so that's going to give him another extra card. I really hate that. We start Ralts. Okay, that's way better than starting Zerua. But no bench Pokemon. Do you have an Ultra Ball? Can get into... Um, he plays a Mew? The absolute insanity of it all.
Is this thing, this thing is legal, right? I just, fates collide, wait. Wait, is that Mew, that Mew is legal, right? Mew. I, th I think, I'm just gonna go check it out because I, I honestly am not sure. I just haven't seen it in any of the other lists. I assume it's, I assume it's legal. What, hidden? Uh, it, no, it's not hidden fates. It's not, is it fates collide? Yeah, fates collide, all right. Fates collide was steam siege. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I like it's just so weird because I haven't seen it in um in any of the other lists. I feel like this would be a really good tech. New tech, baby, new tech. He's got two mew. The insanity of it all. The absolute poggers play and the attachment on the rock rough, you madman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, we kind of have to go, <sighs> this sucks, dude, this sucks. We kind of have to go ultra ball, the Gallade and the Guardi for a Lele. I really want to keep the float stone since we don't have a first turn energy attachment. Let's go there. We want to keep the ultra ball as well. We might end up just discarding a puzzle, which sucks. Go here, take a look through the deck. We do have one Bridget, so we prize two Bridget, no energy prize. I mean, this is good in terms of our prizing. Prized, no uh, puzzles, no candies. Pretty much all our techs are here. We are down to Zorark, which is a real shame. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna go like this, and we're gonna go three Zorark again. We're gonna try that strat out. Try the three, or the three Zorua strat. Because again, he's going to want to try to kill Azurua, and we want to have as much draw power as we possibly can. So let's go there. The other thing we can do with this Ultra Ball is get into another Lele, and then just like end my opponent or something like that. The problem is we kind of actually want him to take a knockout so that we can do that. It's a little bit funky here, but we're hoping like for an N. Um... Well, no, for, eh, forget I said that. Forget I said that. That's stupid. That's stupid. So he's going to come in, go in with the Zerua, I think. Bring a Zerua active. He'll probably take a knockout with a Lycanroc. So. That's fine. Um, we could, if he takes a knockout with Lycanroc, oh, or maybe Buzzwool. He, he, he definitely has an energy. So I think he's going to go in with Buzzwool here. Yep, there's a Buzzwool. This is not looking good. I, the two Mew is really, uh, really very interesting. It's not something I, I would expect like one Mew, but to see two here is really cool. So is he deciding on what to play? I I think you just take the knockout. Maybe he's looking at what he should get on the, or maybe he has an ultra ball in hand or something. He's deciding what to discard because he does want to get up an octillery. That's also pretty pivotal to his strategy. Huh, okay. That's weird. All right, so if we can get a field blower. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, if we can get a field blower. Yeah, we get a rare candy. That's so gas. That's insane. All right, and then we need to go. I don't want to discard this floatstone, but I don't think we have a choice. We're going to have to try to fish it back out with puzzle. So we'll go Lele. Lele for research. Or Sycamore. Jeez. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay. We got Max Pot. We got two... All right. Do we have it? Do we just, like, straight up have the juice? 
So we can go get the floatstone puzzle. I mean, we got the, uh, we need a Zorark. So we got the Zorark here. We got the field blower. So we can field blow the choice band. Um, we can field blow the, t I think the two choice bands are actually the better play because then that prevents him from getting a one shot on our, oh no, he still gets a one shot with the GX. Um, so we want to get into Mew, I think. I'm very, I'm very sure about it. <laughs> uh, man. This is a crazy hand, though. Let's see. So we need to go Ultra Ball. We can't really go Ultra Ball. Maybe we trade away Ultra Ball? Or we could... Uh, we trade away Max Potion? To try to get into Mew? Well, okay. It's not so bad either. Uh, so we need to ditch Rare Candy and this so we'll go puzzle a time for a puzzle and a float stone puzzle a time for puzzle a time and float floater boy and then if if danny has guzma that'll be pretty good we'll go here we will Go here. Get the Mew out. Attach. Um, so, uh, do you think he plays DCE? Because my thought is to get rid of both choice. Because then he would need he would need a dangerous rogue or active. Um, so we get rid of this choice and we get rid of this choice. And then we leave the brooklet. I think that's, it's tough, right? Cause like he might play a third choice band, but I think we just have to let that happen. I think it's more likely that he draws into the DCE than he does draw into the third choice band. He might play four choice band for all I know. So go there and then we'll ride a speeding. So pretty good play, pretty good play. Um, Discarded a lot of resources there, but uh, we did, you know, end up getting what we needed to get. Potentially have to discard this puzzle of time. I'm going to do everything I can to avoid that. The only supporter we have is a Reeser or a Sycamore. So I'm hoping that, I'm actually hoping Danny ends. I'm really hoping that Danny ends. If he goes in with a Lycanroc, we potentially have, no, we don't have Knockout. We don't have Knockout. It would mean that we would need to, yo, the gas. He needs another basic. Oh, no, no, no. He hits for weakness. He hits for weakness. Okay. So this is kind of cool. Um, we would need to try to get max potion, or we could knock out with Lele. So there's Oct Octillery. That's not good for us. Um, need to try to find some energy. This, this game is looking real, uh, real rough for us, for sure. Yeah, and then he gets the Lycan Rock down. If he can like max elixir to that, he's in a really good spot. Okay, fails the max elixir. This floatstone on the this floatstone on the guardy is is really concerning. Uh, so there's knockout. I wish we could have played the max potion, but we just couldn't. We just couldn't do that. We need to find parallel city. We need to find Parallel City in order to, we would like to get a Mallow here actually. So if we, so we would like to get Parallel City and an Energy. So we knock out the Mew, we parallel our own bench. And it's, po I mean, I will discard the Puzzle of Time to get that. Okay, we get the Parallel City. And then we'll trade away the Guzma. We need, we need a basic energy or a DCE, either one. We'll trade away the Guzma, sadly. And we get an N 
Is N worth it though? Because he already has this up. I think I need to get rid of the puzzle of time. This is like a very crucial turn here. I I'm pretty sure we need to go for it. We have the parallel. If we don't get the knockout, we can get really bodied and really punished here. But um, we're going to go parallel ourselves. Go there. The other thing we could have done, we could have like guillotined played the Giratina down and then end, that would have rid it, ridded ourselves of one card. But I think this turn is too crucial that I need to get rid of the puzzle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're seeing it here like, just getting, uh, just getting wrecked off that. So, we can go on the Lele, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the. I almost put it on the Zorark, but then I re, then I remembered that Lele has energy drive. Uh, we could get Field Blower, or so. Or it's not get Field Blower. We could Field Blower here. Um, the Ralts doesn't actually do anything for us since we're. Oh no, we do have one rare candy. No, the Ralts actually doesn't do anything for us because we have both our other evolutions in the discard. We could like get into a Zorua. Um. If he knocks this out, he would need a choice band. I feel... No, no, no. Because... No, I don't want to lay anything down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to lay anything down. We, we were just talking about the plays. Because then he could GX my active for knockout. We really don't want to have that happen. So we just have to see. I opted to not use the field blower on the floatstone because he already has a free retreater in Mew. So we'll see what he can grab here. This is really intense. It must be, Le he must have Lele for like Guzma. No, 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 Octillery. Okay, interesting. He must not play Lele. He must not play Lele. So there's that. He's going to gust up a Zorark and he's going to take it with a GX. And then our plan is to just go as ham as we can on this Lycanroc. We have to basically just, we have to try to find a way to one shot it, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. We could go Lele. We could Twilight on this turn. We could also Guzma up. Well, I'm worried about... Oh, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. The most we could get up to is 180. So it actually isn't reasonable for us to be able to one-shot here. Um... We could go Guzma the Octillery, I guess. But we can't actually one-shot this. So if he has Guzma, he wins the game. So we need to dig for N, I think. Let's go. Uh, can I get a let's go, please? So we'll go here on the attachment just to have it. Um, field blower, we could field blower our own floatstone, but that doesn't seem correct. Uh, we'll go with an N. We just have to keep him out of Guzma and an energy. So I think with this big of a hand, we have to just end him down. Obviously, he has the Octomom. Oh, N. Try to with the Ralts. Okay, we get an energy. We get to Secret Spring to the active. And I think we just go in because if he Ah well, he's down, he's down two max elixir. I think we go in with the active. Well, just infinite force. I think. I don't know if there's, there might be a way that this punishes us, but I'm I'm struggling to see it. He would need to hit a bunch of max elixirs off of the Octo. So there's a choice. He does play another choice band. Oh no. And then what does he take? Guzma? 
He takes Guzma here. Yep. And then he goes on the Zorark. And then he needs to find just an energy to take the win. All right. So three choice band. Very cool. Very cool deck list. I like that a lot. All right, round number three, or game number three. <laughs> to decide it all. This is the one that decides uh, everything. Decides the series. So, going to do a little stretchy. And we will go first. I'm going to hope that, uh, well, it's it could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. We got the Lele. We got an Ultra Ball. So, we'll start Lele. We're hoping for another brick from Danny. He needs to just not draw as well as he did on the first game. We'll be done. We'll bridge it on our first turn and we're gonna go again for the three Zerua strategy. The three Zerua strats are uh, pretty pretty important, I think. So we'll bridge it. Three Zerua strats. Um, and then we go attach. And pass. So again, the reason we attach to the Lele is to have a retreat option into um... Okay, I I was really curious there. I was hoping that he's gonna take an end. Bless. Bless you, Daniel. Daniel, my brother, you are older than me. Do you still feel the pain of the scars that won't heal? Your eyes have died. You've seen more than I. Daniel, you're a star. Bun, go, go, go. On the face of the sky. Ha, 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 ha. It was a little out of my vocal. Elton John has got a much better vocal range than I do. So please don't copyright strike me, YouTube. Honestly, I th I feel like I would be really happy if I got copyright striked uh, imitating an artist of Elton John's caliber. One card we would like to see is Field Blower here. Uh, if he just like doesn't get out of this Regirock, then we could punish that. So he attaches actually to the pseudo, and I wonder if that was the play that he wanted to make because he doesn't get a turn one attachment on Rock Ruff, and uh, that's another way we could potentially punish. So I'm looking at this hand. I'm thinking the weakest card is uh, Choice Band, unfortunately. We do love a good Choice Band, especially if we could do 90 damage on this Regirock. That would be like an ideal number. Uh, but I'd forego it if it meant, you know, getting out more of our deck. The other thing we could look to get is uh, Parallel City. Parallel City here would be really dope. So we get a couple of Zorarks out. And yeah, we are going to... Well, now that we have two Gardevoir, I'm going to discard one. I'm going to discard one. And then we have Mallow. We would get... Yo, okay, 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 okay. Um... Parallel City is going to be good. Let's Mallow for Parallel City. We have Choice Band. We Mallow for Parallel City and like a and like a um, a Guardy, a little baby Guardy. Parallel City and yeah, Parallel City. Uh, he could have Brooklyn Hill. Is there a more impactful card? for us. Mallow for city and color. City and Ralts, I think. I think that is optimal. I think that is optimal. And then I'm going to discard the, the Sycamore because every other card in our hand has pretty good usage. 
So we're going to trade the Sigma. I, I just don't want to get rid of the Gardevoir and the puzzle. That to me feels incorrect. So we'll go here. Play this. Play this. We could keep the choice. But we also get, we threaten the two shot. So I feel like the choice is very strong. I'm trying to figure it out though. Because like, we also haven't played a field blower and we haven't used a puzzle of time. So I'm going to go choice here and we're going to do 90 damage. Um, I don't know this format well enough to say like, because like obviously the choice man is how we ramp up numbers on the uh, the lichen rock. If he doesn't have three energy attached, then it's really hard without the choice man and like multiple turns of attachments to get up to those high numbers. But I think that this puts enough pressure on Danny that he has to find some other thing to do. If he doesn't have a counter to the stadium, that's actually going to be the biggest hindrance to him in terms of getting set up. He's already played one Brooklet. I don't know what his hand is looking like. He didn't have a great start. So if this parallel can stick him, having a Lele down, I think that's probably his only Lele. Usually these decks only play one. And that's mostly to fish out the Guzma at the end of the game. And so we'll see what he has. Looking like he is contemplating very hard the next move. I, I, I wonder if it could be like he's deciding whether or not to play the Lycanroc um, in his hand or something like that. But we'll just have to we'll just have to see. I'm I'm cool with using this Lele as a big aggressor. He has an end. Thank goodness. Daniel, my brother, you are older than me. Do you still feel the pain? Of the scars that won't heal, your eyes have died. <laughs> And we'll see. No steady. I think that would be like the initial laydown. I mean, Danny is, again, a very like fast player, but he does have times where he pauses to think about things. I just feel like the the thing that he's looking for here is Brooklyn Hill. Just slam that boy down. I don't think he got it. And that's going to really, yeah, we see a pseudo. Um, it, probably a Lycanroc maybe coming down. He's going to take a cheap KO on a Zerua or a Ralts. And then we just body him with a Lele, get that return knockout, and that's fine. We're feeling really good. I think he takes out the Ralts here. That would be my guess. Yeah, he is going to go for the Ralts. And we have a couple of Ralts in our hand. I do not want to end. Like, under any circumstance, I do not want to end. So we'll go here. We'll take out his only attacker. Um, so there's a Ralts. We will... Trade a Ralts. I think we can afford to do that. We get an Evo Soda. It's really good. Do that. We will trade again the N. Yeah, I just really don't want to end him. I think that's our weakest card. Okay, and we get we get an Evo Soda. All right. Um, we'll actually trade the Bridget first. Great. And then let's go attach. How can he get, he could get a Guzma strong KO, but go there. Um, if he goes Guzma knockout on Ralts, we could, yeah, I'm, I'm fine to play this other Ralts down as well. I think. Do we need like a Lele for something? What would we want? Mallow, I guess? We have three Zorark up. So I'm going to go Ralts there. Again, this is kind of the, you never know if you're going to get punished, but we get to energy drive. We get to take another two prizes there. Uh, if we can find, oh, maybe the reason we don't play the Ralts is because he could GX attack us. Okay, that would, that would be the reason that we wouldn't want to play the Ralts there. So he's going to retreat into there. Uh, we might just be able to aggress him out of the game with a Guzma play. So we go Guzma on the Lycanroc. Or we could just keep going into the active. Let's trade.
Now, do we have not? We don't. We're not close on knockout, but we do have the two puzzle of times. So if we go one, two, three, four, we could two shot with the lele. That feels real good to me. Um, that forces the action here. I think I want to do that. I would like to get into a float stone if we can, though. So I'll trade again. I think the N is the worst card in our hand. I really like to get into a float stone. We do get a rare candy. So we could, yeah, all right. Let's go. We could go in and attack with a sensitive blade on this guy. I think I'm gonna do that. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have. I, I think I shouldn't have actually. Yeah, I think I shouldn't have done that because then he can go on to even prizes. So actually the play is gonna be, ah, shoot. I shouldn't have done that, I don't think. That was a that was a bad play. I, I'm pretty sure that was a bad play. Dang, bro, dang. We could the other thing we could do is just stack up this Lele. But then he could he could punish us for that. So let's go Guzma onto this. We could attack it with the Zorark, or we could attack it with a Gallade. Uh, or we could retreat into Lele. Let's go. One, two, three. Or we could attack into active. We could also try to, we should have maybe spread our energy so we could try to build up into a giant, because he might want to take out our Ralts also. Although, do we care? Yeah, if he takes our auto Ralts, then Gallade becomes a better attacking option. So, okay, that's actually fine. That's actually fine. We're going to aggress. We're going to try to take out this Lycanroc. Yeah, he is going to take a knockout here. And then we just get big Guardy and go with that. Yep, okay. Okay, Dangerous Rogue. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 100% fine. Um, he's going to go down to two prizes. He has to use his GX, and now we can just, like, beat the crap out of him with, uh, with Guardy. So we go trade. Trade. Um, trade. And then we could... So we got puzzle of times. We'll go to puzzle. Or Guardi. And honestly doesn't really matter. And like Guzma? Choice? See how many N are in the discard. We have two N in the discard. I would like to, if possible, N my opponent as well. Um, how can this punish us? I don't think we can be punished here. I really don't. Because we have these free two prizes. Um, he's been drawing dead. He just took two prizes. I feel like we can ramp up damage pretty quickly here. Let's go attach do this we have Anna as our only supporter I think we I think we limit his options uh, we could secret spring to the active but I kind of want to save it for like if we need to max potion then we have an energy uh, in the in the hand so we'll end and then we just go in we just go in Go in, boys. We're going in. And we got another DCE that's big. That means we could potentially one-shot the Lele. 
Get an enhanced hammer. That's also very clutch. Get a field blower for this float stone. I mean, things are looking up for your boy. He's going to get down a Remoraid. Might be all he can do. Oh, and a research. No, 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 no. Buzz Woolly. Can he get up to the big numbers, though? Can he get up to the big number? We get a float stone. Massive draw. We're looking for our next puzzle because we want to just take that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's enough for a one shot. We could also just one shot the active. Um, Knuckle Impact could do something, I guess. Trade. We're going to save everything. Yeah, because we get knocked out. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to save everything. Um, can this beat us in any way? I don't think so. So then we will infinite force. Yeah, field blower would have been good. Oh, we had one in hand. We should have played the field blower. Should have played the field blower. It's my bad. We still have win here if we go Guzma. He can get up to, what's that? He can get up to 120. Yeah, we, we should have easily played the field blower. So there's a jet punch. And we're just going to play all of our energy and go infinite force. Well played, Daniel. GG, my man. Unreal hands, he says there at the end. And I got to agree, we've had some pretty good hands here, all these sets. I think that game two actually was the best hand that we had ripped when we got the Mew out. But it didn't end up mattering. He was, he was able to win the game anyway. I think games one and games three were both... Very good. I think the deck has performed. You've seen it over the course of the six games that it's just performed uh, about as well as it could have, aside from that one game that we dead drew in, what, round three? So that is the Buzzwool Lycanroc Mew matchup. That's a pretty cool one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to follow me at twitch.tv slash flexdaddyrighteous for live gameplay every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will see you on the next video. Remember, good luck and also have fun. See ya.